stop right there. I can see you're about to go to the comments and be like, hey, hey, this is not fair. Fable's not out yet. How dare you say this game's going to be bad? And I, I just want you to really think about that decision, okay? Because hear me out. I've already made a video on what happens if Fable is good. And it's going to be longer than this video. And I think you should go watch that first. I am trying to cover both the goods and the bads of this game and the possibilities. So this video is hypothetical. This is not what I want to happen. This is not what I think will happen. This is just how I think it could go if it goes negatively. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the video. So I've made a video on what happens if Fable is great and it can revive the series and all these other certain unknowns if they all go positive at least. So today I want to do the opposite and basically talk about what happens if all these unknowns go the other way and we actually end up with a game that's quite a negative experience. So I think obviously we're going to kind of just go through the opposites of what the first video was. The main one being that I think the community would really just kind of fade away again. Fable's community has never been the biggest thing, at least not in recent time. I'm sure it was massive when the game's launched, but as of recent, it's dwindled. So I think a lot of the community is holding out hope that this new Fable game will be good and they're able to form a new community, or at least an expanded community, based on the game's release. Obviously, when a new game releases, communities always get a massive boost. But of course, if that game is terrible, then that won't really have as big an effect as we may like. So I think that if Fable kind of sucks, I think that um, the community will really start to just shrink and shrink. And we'll find ourselves in a situation where somehow an already small community is starting to die off even faster. And that includes old members of the community too. A lot of old fans might feel like the fact that a new game is bad is their sign to kind of give it up and move on to other games. And I can't blame them for that. So yeah, I feel like the community would be in a really rough spot and maybe not even ever have a chance at thriving ever again. Which brings me on to the next point, which is, what about sequels? Honestly, if this game kind of sucks, I think our chances at sequels are minimal. I don't think it's impossible. As I say, Playground has now at this point hired a Fable team. There is a whole team dedicated to just Fable games. So I feel like if they only planned on making one game, they probably wouldn't have hired a whole team for it. So maybe that kind of safeguards a sequel. However, the budget for that, the scope for that, and how much they plan to change in the future is the big unknown there. Maybe a sort of silver lining is the fact that even if the game does perform bad, remasters might still be possible. I think our chances of getting remasters will be a lot higher if the game is good, of course. But I think that one flip side of this is that if the new game is bad, you'll see a lot of people crying out that the old games are better. A lot of fans will be wanting to remaster it. And if uh, Xbox do want to genuinely invest in this uh, IP's future, um, I don't think remastering the old games is a bad way to go. If the game doesn't sell too well, that also brings in a whole host of different issues. If a game is received poorly, it's one thing, but if it sells poorly, that's totally different. Xbox have made it very clear that they do not care when it comes to cutting studios. I mean, look at the creators behind Hi-Fi Rush. They made a banger game that sold well and they were like, yeah, we'll just give you the cut anyway, because why not? It's very lame and it's something I really don't like about Microsoft, but... It's business, there's plenty of things I don't like about it, I'm not going to mope on about it too much here. And I think it's possible to see this for the Playground team too. Now, the one good thing for Playground is they do have a form of insurance with Forza Horizon. Luckily, those games always perform quite well and have been quite good, so... I don't think it'd be very likely that the entire team could get shut down. Remember how I was like, oh yeah, they'll have to make a sequel, they've got a Fable team. Well, it could just be the case that Xbox decide to shut it down. Obviously, there's so many different things that can happen if the game does bad. So, maybe they will just force them to churn out another game, or, to be honest, they could very much just shut down the entire studio. Or at least the team. I don't think Player Graham would be uh, hitting the chopping block anytime soon. Man, I can... I, I, I do not want to go over there. That looks terrible. So, yeah, I think the kind of scary thing is, I don't really know whether, if the new game did bad, how the franchise would go. I mean, as I say, it could be possible that they decide to just go and make a bunch of remasters and ask the team to do a sequel and hopefully make it better, maybe on a more restricted budget. Or they could just go, nah, this isn't working, Fable isn't working, shut down the dev team, shut down any sort of remaster possibilities, shut down any sort of sequels and just kind of recoup their losses. This really is the scary thing when it comes to game dev. There's so many unknowns and it's just so hard to predict what could happen. But I really do think the saddest thing would just be the wasted opportunity. I mean, I think that this is very much Fable's last chance to a certain degree. With the first run not doing too well due to like various issues like Fable Legends, Fable The Journey, all these other games that perhaps didn't perform the best, shall we say. 
I think it puts Fable in a very 50-50 spot. If the reboot is good, I think it can fully reaffirm itself as needing a place in this community of gaming. And basically just secure its slot in the industry. But if it goes bad, I could see Xbox really just wanting to jump ship from the whole idea. I mean, that'd be two failed attempts. Maybe they decide to just pack it all up and give up. When there's this many unknowns, it's so hard to predict what could possibly happen. So, yeah, to be honest, I think that if Fable sells badly and does badly, it would just be complete doom for the franchise. I'm not saying it's impossible that it could bounce back from a, a poor sale game, but I really do think that the chances are just not likely, and I would worry a lot for Fable's future. And I wouldn't be expecting much more from Fable's future either. But I think the saddest part is, um, I think it would disappoint me a lot, and I think that uh, I'd really question if this is all worth it, Especially after such a big year wait, there's a lot of expectations. I think the, the real bad thing would be how badly it would disappoint its fan base, and that is never fun. And I don't think any company ever wants to disappoint their fan base. But unfortunately, it happens more than we'd like. So hopefully, this never happens and Fable is amazing, but yeah, it's all very much possible. Anyways though, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this one's on a shorter side again, but um, I've been making so many long videos recently, I'm like, I, I think these guys are probably sick of hearing me talk. I do have some other content on the way that's not Fable related, and I've done a lot of Fable videos, so hold out for that if that's what you're waiting for, and I'll see you soon.